Hello and welcome back to Reforged Eden, an Empyrean Galactic Survival. My name is Spanch. You might be wondering, what the hell is Reforged Eden? What am I going on about? Well, I did a little video uh, a little while ago about what Reforged Eden is. I'll link that up. There should be a little thing somewhere. You can click on that and watch that video if you like. But in a nutshell, Reforged Eden is a mod slash scenario. Um, I call it a mod because it changes so much of the game. It is still Imperion Galactic Survival. Uh, it's not like one of those total conversion thingy-majiggies, but it changes a lot of the, the, the sort of base game's rules, even adds its own weapons, blocks, and all sorts of things in, and all new missions, POIs, and things like that. It is incredible. Um, so if you've only ever played the vanilla version of Imperion Galactic Survival, I do suggest you go over to the Steam Workshop and subscribe to Reforged Eden and try it out yourself because I think it, it gives uh, Imperion a much, much needed uh, boost, like an adrenaline shock. It really does. Uh, so we're going to start a whole new series of Reforged Eden right here, right now, where I'm going to explore this mod from head to toe. Now, I've also involved the community in this quite a bit as well. They have already voted on what starting planet I'm going to be starting on today, and they have chosen Oscar Tune. Uh, they are also deciding what ships I use from the Blueprints library. I will not be using, well, unless one of mine is voted for, but I will not be using any of my own builds. This series, I will be using builds from the workshop, from you guys. And uh, they, are, they are submitted on my Discord and voted on by patrons, Twitch subs, and, and, and YouTube channel members. And whichever one gets the most votes, I have to use. I have to rise to the challenge of bringing that band boy in, whatever it may be. Uh, so, you know, you can get involved if you like. Head over to my Discord. Join in the fun. Submit some builds uh, for each category that it's uh, that's called for, when it's called for, and, and good luck. Hopefully it's voted for. And, you know, you might see me pottering around the galaxy in your build in no time. Um, but for now, let's get started, shall we? Uh, we are going... <laughs> onto Oscar Tune. This planet difficulty is regarded as ultra difficult. Uh, it doesn't have any radiation, and I believe it is breathable. And it has uh, some decent resources on it, including Sathium and a restroom, which is crazy. Uh, but there we go. The the thing with Oscar Tune is it's an ocean planet. Let's get going, shall we? Uh, there's not a lot of landmass, and what landmass there is is heavily contested by Xeraxian scumbags. So... <laughs> It's going to be an interesting one. Uh, survival is unlikely. Very unlikely. I do love the whole new loading screens uh, that Revian has put into Reforged Eden here. Just look at the uh, the care and attention that he's put into that. Okay. Uh, that's a drone, right? Where are we? We are... Ooh, let's turn around. Let's go that way. Because do you know what? Whatever that is. I don't know what that is. That's a drone. You can see that. There's a destroyed shelter there, which is a shame. I think if I can get over there, that would make a good little base starter location. I have, of course, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Spanish video because it is dark. <laughs> of course it's bloody dark. <laughs> I have got a flashlight, but at this distance from the, the shore, it's probably quite useless. Um, oh, look at that. Look at Delta One up there. What a view. What a view. Absolutely amazing. Right, we've got to get on to shore. We are starting all over from scratch and already we've got some cobalt rocks here look at that okay let's uh oh my god holy crap okay no straight into not even let's 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 inventory no 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 let's survive holy jesus what a son of a bean die to pod scam that that is how this series is going to go i suspect <laughs> Ecology Telluropod has been added to your inv to the Imperiumpedia. I have a bandage. Wonderful. Um, there we go. <laughs> Jeez, crazy. I hope you're all awake now. Are we all awake? Are we all... Uh, very much I'm awake. Okay. There's some rocks here. I don't want to spend too much time... Is that resource mode? I don't think so. I don't want to spend too much time on the shore here in case more of those scumbags come along. Um... Yeah, let's pick up what resources we can around here and then move on inland. Quick ping of the detector. Ping, ping, ping. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. We are on... Um... Excellent. 
Excellent. We've chosen well, I suspect. We've chosen very well. Uh, right. Let's grab. Now, this series is on a on a server, on a multiplayer server. And now I've jumped on because it's my server, my rules. Uh, I've jumped on a bit ahead of everyone else just so I can get a little bit of a head start because I spend a lot of my time editing this stuff. And so while I'm doing that, everybody else catches up and inevitably overtake me. Um, plus also, um, I'm not sure how many people are going to be starting here on Oscatune, so I wanted to give myself a little bit of a head start. But we are on a multiplayer server. And the likelihood is we are going to run into some other players along the way. This server that I'm playing on is available once again to all patrons, Twitch subs and YouTube channel members. So if you want to come and join me, in a sense, I mean not directly, I'm going to be playing mostly solo because of the times I play in. Ah, oh, you bastard. Uh, but if you would like to come and join the server, then um, Patreon, $2 a month. That's it. That'll get you onto the server. All the details are on my Discord, including all the server details and stuff. So, um, Right, that's enough advertising and general self-promotion nonsense. Let's play this bloody game, shall we? Okay, so uh, did we get any missions? Tutorial. There isn't one. Solo missions. Journey into the unknown. This is... A, you have awoken in a damaged escape pod. Injured. Uh, alone after you plummeted through the atmosphere of an unknown world with no memory of how you got here and little at your disposal. Uh, the crackling of your suit's radio puts you on a path towards answer somewhere out in the wilderness of this alien planet. This is the beginning of the main Imperial storyline. I like. Let's do it. Activate. Uh, you've woken blah blah blah. We just read that. What is this place? Where the hell am I? The last thing I remember was aboard a pollen station getting ready to ship out. Recollection. A whole new world. Right. Uh, let's get some of this going. I think I can only afford one. Still, food is going to be important. Um, I'm trying to hail the UCH fleet right now. Being in misery. I, I, I am so peed off <laughs> that it's bloody night time. I tell you, it's typical. It's absolutely typical. This is the thing we're starting on in multiplayer server because the server starts and time will go. Time will go without you. You're not even here. But of course, when I come... Onto the bloody server. Time has passed. Just enough for it to be freaking night time. Um, there's some some transmission, but it's garbled. There's a garbled transmission. I can't I can't read. There's a bug. Trying to stay away from that guy. Leaf cutter. Um, it's faint, but there's definitely a UCH transmission. There's there's other survivors here. Well, there we go. We're saved. Maybe not. Okay, let me grab some herbal. Go wait. I see you. Go wait. Leave me alone. Go wait. Uh, can't understand what they're saying. I need some way to clean up the transmission. There's probably an antenna among some of the wreckages uh, that can be used to boost the strength, boost the signal strength. Have you tried reversing the polarity? Uh, maybe that'll help. I don't know. No, these things are good. These things are like... Ah, oh, crap. I was hoping it was going to be one where the, the box is somewhere nearby, but it's not. We have to dig. There is always, always a box in these things. It is just a question of where. Oh my god. This is Reforged Eden, baby. Everything is nerfed. <laughs> and we're digging through the ground in like a few seconds. That's how slow it is. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Um, where is the box going to be on this thing? I don't even know. Let's just trim the surface out at least a little bit. These boxes are worth it. Are worth a little. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. This is not worth it. Okay, well, you know. Sometimes they can carry meds. Sometimes they can carry, like, multi-tool charges and stuff like that. It would be bloody useful. So, for the, if you get that wreckage, ladies and gents, follow this truss block down, and there you go. There's the box. There's usually one box among this stuff. No more than that. Uh, but there we go. Okay. That's Talon territory. Interesting. The drone was right there. So we've got an iron deposit. See if we can detect more deposits. Bing. Two iron deposits. A restroom. A very small restroom. A copper. Um, I'm going to go grab that restroom. <laughs> uh, so there is a little bit of a rule. There's a little bit of a rule. There, I say there's a little bit of a rule, but it is a rule. On the starter planets here, the uh, resources regenerate every Monday. Because, obviously, if, uh, if everybody drills out the resources and stuff, then there's none really left for anybody else. So... They reset completely on Monday, but in order for the reset 
facility to work through the Imperion admin helper tool which we use to run the servers uh, there needs to be a little bit of the deposit left over otherwise it just doesn't regenerate so all these deposits I have to leave on at least 10% then they can regenerate now a restroom deposit like that one well that's that's going to be quite a little, that's going to be touch and go to leave that at 10% because it is very small so there's literally going to be like 10 a restroom in it or something like that probably I see you I'm in range they're in red they are fast little buggers, aren't they, these Telurapods? I'm missing. You don't know what you're doing, do you? You don't know where to come or go. Come up. Out of the water with you. I want your parts. <laughs> I want your meat. Delicious meat. Shift F, by the way. Shift F is what I'm using there to insta loot. Holy crap. You see that over there? I don't know if you can see it. It's dark. But right on my crosshairs there is, I think that's called a shrine. That is a big, bad, nasty POI. That is a big, bad, nasty POI to be right here. Um, but still, it's a long way away. We, we're fine. Um, right above that arrestroom deposit right now. So let's dig down. This is going to take a little while, actually. Dig down into the arrestroom deposit here. It's not too bad, actually. This sand. Where is it? I should have used my drone. I'm now stuck in a hole. But there we go. Is that a restroom? Brush stone? No. It should be green, but uh, honestly, I don't know. It is... We're getting radiation now. Come on! Dig! There we go. Right, here it is. Now, you've got to be careful not to remove all the restaurant in one hit. Otherwise, like I said... Uh, oh yeah, okay, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Otherwise, it, it won't regenerate. And then nobody else gets to benefit from having a very early source of a restroom. Now, I don't... I'm not going to have a need for this arrest room for quite a while, but uh, it's nice to pick it up nonetheless and have some. I am I am end game resources here already, ladies and gents. Look at this. Easy. Who said Reforged Eden was hard, eh? Right. What are we down to? 60% ore left. Okay. It's actually not bad. For a very small deposit, this is actually quite decent sized deposit. Uh, so our mission is to find a working antenna. Now, I'm not really sure if um, Oscatoon actually has said antenna. We, it could be over there, but I don't know. It might be one of these missions, because some of these missions apply to, say, the safer starting areas. Um, not all of them, but some of the missions are available to, say, like, you know, Oscatoon and stuff like that. So I think the antenna might actually be off world somewhere. I don't know. I have never actually started on Oscar Tune before. This is a new experience for me. Okay, I'm going to leave it at 30% because um, I'm going to be stuck down here in a hole. So, Paco, 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 Paco. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, see? All you naysayers. Right, I now have a hole to hide in as well should uh, something big and nasty come along. So, there we go. That's good. Right. Um, what I'm going to need is I do actually have... Wonderful. I actually have one of these already, which is fantastic. Let's see if we can build a nice little hover vessel to get ourselves around. Um, so we're going to need to unlock some stuff, first of all, in order to do that. Look at this! Small modulated pulse laser. Ultraviolet pulse laser. Gamma pulse lasers. Oh my god. This is the thing with Project Eden. You go straight into this, like, uh, the, the, the tech tree here, and you just you suddenly start to realise all of the new stuff. Look at this! Heavy laser turrets. Heavy artillery turrets. This is all stuff that we will um, unlock much later on. Mark 25, Sledgehammer Torpedoes. Explosion damage 15,000 within a radius of 10. That's 10 blocks of damage at 15,000. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is a CV killer. It also takes up 200 litres of volume and a ton. Oh, well, almost 1,000 kilograms. Holy, holy crap. Uh, and then we've got all the um, Regenera research stuff as well. Yikes. Including the antimatter warp drive. Which has a range of a lot. Uh, jump range is 120. It's actually been nerfed because it was 500. Now 120. Ah, oh, Revian, why'd you do it? Breaking my heart, man. Anyway, we're here on actually a relatively 
peaceful raptors. Um, island raptors. Let's avoid the raptors. Grab some more sausage. Corn dogs. Corn dogs. Um, if I can set up a little place for my constructor. I have iron and copper here and silicon rocks are scattered around the shore. And then we have pretty much all the basics that we need. Other than maybe some more uh, plant fiber which we can gather. I'm going to go set up next to that copper deposit I think. There's more of these bugs scattered around. I want to go over here but I know there's a drone over there so I don't want to go over there until I've got something. Ooh bugs. Something a little bit spicier in my um, arsenal. Go away! Bloody things. Right. Copper deposit. Still dark. Ladies and gents, most of this video is going to be in the dark. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> um, we got some raptors uh, right where I want to go. So I'm going to have to deal with them. Oh. Oh, crap! Oh, crap! I have not got the help for this. Why oh, I started a fight with raptors. Out of bullets. Die! Can I have that? I want that. I want these. Can I have... Damn it! glitched bugged out never mind okay we're okay uh can i make some juice juice is good uh if you can make juice then that gives you a bit of health i think it gives you like 80 health back uh so do make some juice right copper copper bearing rock don't need to pick up the rocks off the ground anymore which is a lovely little change thank you very much elion uh there's the copper deposit okay we're gonna set up right here i think we're just gonna plonk plonk you there lovely okay Da, 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 da. Is that all the iron I've got? That sucks. Sucks for iron. Okay. Project Eden Guide. Look at that. There's a lot of stuff to read. Uh, okay, well, there we go. So from this, I think we can make ourselves nothing. Uh, <laughs> nothing. I think we need to refine... Um, we need some plant fiber in order to make... Let's get this thing actually working on some carbon substrate which will be the crushed stone and plant fiber we get to doing that we're going to need the silicon uh oof. we're going to need more more copper and iron so we can get started on more stuff so we get this constructor working on those bits and bobs uh meanwhile my health can be restored a little bit with some berry juice okay we're gonna have to keep that going I think it is just two berries. Yeah. But we've got two berries. So I'll keep an eye out some more berry bushes. And holy crap. Okay, that's over there as well. Okay, so hopefully that's going to stay over there. Again, I don't know if you can see this, guys. Right where my crosshair is right now. That is a Xerax patrol vessel. That's a capital vessel. That is something I hope stays the hell away from here. Uh, but the fact that I can see it is not good that's over there somewhere right where is uh right where i said we should go um so maybe i've changed my mind about that maybe we should bloody go that way <laughs> maybe we should stay right here i'm going to dig a hole for me to hide in just in case um because these are the sort of tactics you need to employ <laughs> hidey holes come on you can do it there we go there was some copper right we'll get a bit of copper out of this deposit we'll get a bit of iron out of the other deposit and um, and that should be enough resources for us to get a basic little hover shuttle. Maybe with a couple of Gatling guns on it or something. That would be nice. That's the point. Do we actually... Um, I got distracted, didn't I? Gatling gun, that's what we need. <laughs> oh dear, cargo boxes and ammunition controller is also what we need. Uh, we don't need an oxygen station. It's a breathable planet. We would benefit from a fridge. I'll stick with the ground repulsor engines for now. I don't think I'll need them. If I can get a harvest module, harvest controller, harvest module, that would be very useful. Spotlights and detectors as well. Okay. Miscellaneous. 
wireless, very useful, and fuel cells. Okay. Weapons. Submachine gun can't do that. I'm out of points! Darn it! Ah, right, there we go. We'll go back to mining. Uh, data package. Shield combat has been successfully installed to your Imperium Pedia. Okay. All, right, yeah, all this Imperium Pedia stuff is pretty good. I've never really actually ever used this stuff. Um, but in Project Eden and Reforged Eden alike, I would say it's probably pretty damn good to read up on this stuff, especially if you're not overly familiar. So you've got shields. Look at this kinetic weapons such as this lot. Uh, yeah. So shields are very... Basically, energy weapons will damage shields more than projectile weapons. Which is kind of, you know, meta for the sci-fi verse and stuff like that. There we go. We're getting some copper. We'll get some more of this. Um, and then we'll head over and get some iron, I think. Hopefully, nothing's going to kill me in between. That's a copper. That's 69 copper. The, uh, the best amount of copper. And we'll get that smelting. This stuff can go back in. Because now that's starting to open up these components, I don't think... Yeah, we can now actually make... Um, let's get this making a... Of a vessel. Oh, crap. Yee, son of a... Son of an arachnid. Ow! Jesus, the reach on this son of a bean. Yay! Okay, what have I got? Uh, that has infected me with something. Poisonous bite. Are you poisonous bite? No, I need the blue one. Can I make the blue one? Yes, I can make the blue one. Oh boy, look at my health. It's plummeting. My health is plummeting. I don't want to die. I, mean, I just got here. <laughs> Come on, suit constructor, hurry. Please. Okay, the bandage is restoring my health fast enough that uh, the poisonous bite isn't. There we go. We're fine, but that is the last poisonous bite. I need her herbal leaves. I need to find some herbal leaves. Um, oh, that was that was a bastard, wasn't it? Uh, right, okay. That's making the copper. We need to find some iron. There was an iron rock just over there. I'm going to go get some of that. And then uh, we should be good to start making our hover. Little, little hover shuttle thing. And hopefully, I don't know, maybe we can find some herbal leaves on the way. I'm now just like really paranoid. <laughs> Anything's going to sneak up on me. Um, no worries. Fine. We can deal with it with our little survival tool here. It's, it's grand. No problem. Okay. Pick up some of these rocks on the way. This island's going to be out of resources very, very, very quickly. Is that a raptor? Uh, they, they come in packs. Yep. I see two raptors and another one of those arachnids between me and that iron deposit. You bastards. You absolute bastards. Right, berries. Grab you. Gotcha, berries. Nice hitbox on that, Elyon. Um, oh, yes, herbal leaves. Oh, bugs. Oh, this place is absolutely swarming in these things. It's either raptors or it's bugs or it's friggin' raptors. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Now you guys probably can't see what I'm seeing. Just because of how dark the probably video is. I'm trying to counter it with some gamma and stuff so that you guys can actually see. But, friggin' raptors, dudes. <laughs> okay. L screw the iron. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, I need a gun. I need I need ammo. I need a weapon of mass bug and raptor destruction. And there's only really one weapon that qualifies for that at this level. And that is the old shy. Which I can't unlock because I spent all my points on other stuff. Damn it! I need to level up. <laughs> okay, fine. We shall make some pistol rounds in that case. Please? Please, some pistol. Damn it, I can't make this mess. Uh, nitrocellulose. Needs. Hang on. I got 16 plant fibers. I need, I need more. I need more plant fibers. I need more. Ah, okay. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Right, make me some more of those. Make me some more of those, please. Oh, I can make another one of those, but then my queue is full because it's the survival constructor. Um, so we need, we need, we need, uh, plant fiber. Best way to get that is from the trees and stuff 
There's actually not many of them around, and the ones that are here seem to be right next to these stupid bugs. I'm going to have to get alarmingly close to this guy. Oh, uh, yeah, he's picked me up already. Look at this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't mind me. You just stay there. Do not approach. Turn around. That's it. You go away. Go away. Go away. Good bug. Good bug. These guys are uh, nasty little critters right now, so i got to be very careful not to offend them. If I offend them, they're going to come at me. A bit more juice. A bit more health. Um... Now I'm in Telurapod territory, now I've got to be extra careful. Mining these trees. Are you a tree or are you just... No, you're not even a tree, are you? Get some trees, man. I need that nitrocellulose. And then I can make ammunition. And then I can perhaps level a bit. Enough to get a shotgun. This is the ultimate challenge right now. <laughs> first days, first day or first night. <laughs> There's no of survival. Survive against the bloody critters. And then it's survive against the Xerax. And then everything else in the galaxy. Right, trees. Okay, that should do for now, I think, this one. There we go. That gives us nine logs. That will convert into a fair old bit of... Medicinal growth! <laughs> I love a bit of medicinal growth. I just found space cannabis, guys. Things are looking up. Well, my hunger is getting serious. Um, make one of those. Gonna need one of those. We get bit again. Yeah, they definitely come in handy. Uh, all right. Well, Delta One has moved all the way. Over yonder. Hopefully, we'll be getting some daylight soon. That'll be our first. Okay. Now, can you make me pistol rounds? Yes, you can. Okay, so can I make... Can you make, like, 10? I mean, give me, like, 20. I'm going to need some. Oh, actually, 20 is maybe too much. 75. 100 pistol rounds. Maybe you yeah, have three more. There we go. Pistol rounds. I still need something to heal. Um, I still need some... I don't know, plant fibers and medicinal um, herbal leaves and stuff will allow me to make bandages just use that herbal leaves that I had to make the antioxidant antioxidant stuff just in case I get bit again which I think is probably more important right I heard food is up to 139 now uh, we still need to get some iron but we have some pistol rounds yes we are armed with the worst weapon in the game <laughs> it's fine <laughs> it'll do fine we can head towards that iron get the iron get a level and you're coming okay Oh ho ho! Oh! Just call me John Wick! Or Spange Wick. Doesn't really work. Just call me John Wick! <laughs> Just headshot that bastard. Uh, right. Now I've got to beware of the raptors. There are bugs. The bugs are okay as long as you leave them alone. Don't get too close. They, they generally should leave you alone. Should be the operative word here. Okay, so there's more of those. Ah, there's the raptors. Look. They're in the tall grass. Reload, 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 reload. Not John Wick anymore. Reload! Oh, they're much harder to hit. Much harder to hit, in my defense. <laughs> right, the, there's still, oh my god, there's so many of them just surrounding this iron deposit. You bastards. There's the iron deposit, right there. And there is one, two, three, I can't see the other ones because they're now behind a little tag. Alright, let's see if we can pick, if we can pick them off one at a time. What does that mean? That means you are coming. Oh, Christ! Go, oh, boy! Oh. I did not need two of them coming at the same time. 
That was a bit hairy. I'm shooting the rock. Crosshair's going red. But I'm, I'm missing. <laughs> ah, he hit me. God, those things are fast. Sit down. Oh, they're so fast. Look at my health. Not good. Not good, not good. I need another berry. Uh, there's a berry bush. Need more. Plant fiber and... Oh, you are a cheeky sod. Yikes! No, I know what your reach is like. I know what your reach is like. Go away. Oh. Eating through those rounds. <laughs> Still got 100, though. <laughs> it's a good job I made the freaking pistol rounds. I tell you. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. Um... Iron. Are there any more raptors around here? I don't see any. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Just because I don't see any. I never see anything anyway. Right. We are at the iron deposit. There it is. 33 meters down. We're going to have to dig. A fair old amount. Hope. Right, I don't know whether to stay on the surface and use my drone or to dig myself into a hole. The thing with using the drone, like here, like I can hit F5 and I can use a drone and I can drill with the drone. The problem is, that leaves me kind of vulnerable on the surface and I don't know what's around here, so I'm going to go down. <laughs> I'm going I'm I'm to go down into a hole. I will just excuse myself into this hole. I'll be right back in a second. Problem. Problem. I see a problem. There's a problem. Oh, man. Okay, so he should bunger off because he can't see me. I'm underground right now. This is why I didn't use my drone. You see? This is why... Because, <laughs> you know, if I was on the surface right now, I'd have been quite happily digging around down in here. No, none the wiser. You know, absolutely fine. And then I'd take a rocket to the face from that bastard. Go on, bugger off. Yeah, there you go. He's buggered off. Good job up and down a hole. This is how we play. This is what we do. Right, how much iron have I got? Just get this one tick here. Uh, 68. Okay, that's not bad. I think we can I think we can proceed with 68 iron. Boink, boink, boink. Wee hee 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 hee! Daylight! Holy cow! How long was it down there? <laughs> it was down in the mine. I've forgotten what the sun looks like. There it is, it's fine. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh raptors. I just want to go back to my little, my thing, with a thing and a thing. Go away. Go away, raptors. Yeah. We are a bit low on the old, um, health and stuff, so I'd rather avoid, if possible. I see ya. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. Um, yeah, so we should be able to now start a little bit of construction on our hover machine. Then, oh, 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 all these bugs, all these raptors and stuff around here. <laughs> anyway, I know what hit him. Anyway, I know what hit him. Right, okay, so let's get the iron off it there, along with the crushed stone that I got. Uh, what's the parish time on this? Five. Okay, let's chuck that in there, because what we're going to need in order to preserve the stake here uh, is get our parish time from five to 13. We just craft it all into steak. Um, and then we're going to get this crafting into iron. Um, and what else can we make? Let's just chuck everything in here a second. I can see what is available for us to manufacture. So we can make a, a berry juice. We can make two berry juices. Scrambled eggs. Oh, beautiful. Actually, do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to have six scrambled eggs. Yeah. Get me those scrambled eggs. Hells yeah. And we can't make any meds. Okay, that's fine. The scrambled eggs, hopefully, do they give health? 10 health! Look at that, along with the juice. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll be absolutely hunky-dory. This is fantastic. Right, so we just have to wait a little bit for that to manufacture. Uh, now, because we are on a multiplayer server, I don't think... Well, no, I know for a fact that the tents... Tents don't work. So I can't put a tent down and just 
sleep the day away. Because <laughs> ah, big shiny thing in the sky. I don't want to do with it. Uh, we can't do that. So we just literally we have to wait for this to do things. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Well, I'm going to start picking away at that stake as it manufactures. And I will just keep a vigilant eye on my surroundings. Oh, those scrambled eggs look delicious. Shall I eat them? Eat them. Okay. So we've got a bit of iron now. Steak is done. We've got some food on the way. Let's get... Uh, a hover vessel built as always is the way these things work most of the activity I do is at night and most of the time and during the day I'm just waiting for things to happen so already the freaking sun is halfway over but it's fine we have a bit of daylight look how beautiful Oscar tune is um, it is paradise if it wasn't for all these pesky bugs everywhere right okay so for a hover vessel we need our starter block First of all, we do need a cockpit. I want at least three of these little engine things. These things are brilliant in the early game, okay? Because they act as not only uh, the, the actual hover engines themselves, they act as thrusters and RCSs all in one block. They are not very powerful. So once your hover vessel gets beyond a certain size, they become pretty much useless. But for a very basic hover vessel, like the one we're going to be making today, uh, they're, they're excellent. They're absolutely perfect. They're spot on. So, uh, we've got a core, a cockpit, some repulsors, a generator, a fuel tank, and a spotlight. Hello. And a freaking raptor. A level 3 raptor as well. This guy's probably going to kill me. I'm glad that he runs straight past me and let, him, let me know that he was there, rather than just coming straight up and eating me. That was fortunate. <laughs> that was really fortunate. Okay. Uh, where were we before we were so rudely interrupted? Right, yes, we've got a spotlight. Okay, I need a spotlight to see things. Detector, of course. Um, and and some cargo boxes. We're going to need some cargo boxes. We're also going to need some weapons. Uh, which I can't make. Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> I can't make them in this thing. I forgot about that. I thought I could at least make the grinder. But nay. I can't even make the grinder. Oh, well. I can make the hover constructor in here though. So um, we can see if we can unlock that. Actually, can we unlock? Have I leveled? I have, right, I have 20 points available. I can get the shotgun. Right, the hover constructor, there it is. We can get that. That has a nasty amount of CPU though, 700. I'm hoping we can get it. If we can get it, fantastic, because this thing will, will open us up, uh, allow us to build. Um, Things like the the weapon systems and stuff like that. All good, all good. Okay, so there's there's a starter block. Now we can line up the constructor. This is going to take again. This is going to take a little while to build. In the meantime, though, uh, we can get our steak on. Get steak. Look at it, because that gives us twelve health. This gives us ten health. The problem with the steak is it also increases our body temperature by three. So we have to be careful with it, because otherwise we could very much end up with. Um, an overheat situation <laughs> if you just chow down on the stink uh, it doesn't take very long for us to, to pull back down though so that's fine uh, one thing I'm going to need well holy crap look at that oh god do not come any closer you swine <laughs> I do not want it I don't want it that's like over there somewhere now um, so it's coming this way maybe <laughs> oh my god I don't want it um, sorry distracted by a giant ship that is definitely getting closer <laughs> I'm just going to move away from that. Um, one thing we can do is get some more uh, plant fiber from the trees and stuff. Let's do that because we're going to need it in order to make ammunition. What is that floating away in the water? Is that like a tiny little strip of land? I think it is, actually. It is a tiny, minuscule little desert island. Uh, we're going to need it in order to produce ammunition. So we can chop some trees down. And the, uh, the resource mode on the old survival tool here is the way to do that. None of this, like, you know, stone axe nonsense that other survival games do. We get a laser that does it at half the speed. But, you know, we don't have to swing or expend stamina mining and stuff like that. It's quite nice. And literally, the only, run, the only purpose of stamina in this game is to run. <laughs> Just running. It'd be quite cool if we can get an exosuit at some point that takes that away as well. <laughs> That'd be awesome. There we go. Okay, so we get some wood. Uh, this will allow us to make nitrocellulose along with some some um, rocks that we'll pick up. 
and then we should be able we have plenty of uh fuel uh, plenty of materials to make bullets but also plenty of materials to make fuel that's what i was trying to say because we can turn all this plant fiber into biofuel that will run our hover vessel for plenty of time because it is such a little little hover vessel but running the constructor running the fridge on that thing is going to eat through probably more fuel than the thrusters will so yeah here we go we got, we got plenty here though if i can get a little grinder and a harvest box on the hover vessel then it can grind uh it can harvest its own trees and stuff and and thus make its own fuel in a way I see a magnesium rock, rock over there as well i want to go get that so I'll avoid all the bugs as usual. Did I pick up some berries? I did. Make some more berry juice, please, constructed food. We are actually uh, looking better health-wise. Our food is good. Our health is increasing uh, the more we eat. So things are looking up. We're doing well. More iron rocks. We will be off our feet very soon, I, I hope. Yeah, there's one of the little, little rocks just dotted around everywhere. That must be a, like a top of a rock or something. That's pretty cool. Oh god, look at that patrol vessel! <laughs> oh, I don't want it. Why did it ooh, I, don't, I want it to go away. I need it to leave now. I just want it to leave. The thing is, I don't want to go too close to it because if it goes, if it gets, if it gets sight of me, it will come this way. It's a hunter. Um, oh nice. There's the nice little parade of bugs between me and um. Oh, do you know what? There's there's a crap okay well, i think it's going to be distracted by something else but i don't know how many logs have we got me seven is that it okay let's get some more logs let's get some more logs then um and then i'm just gonna have to brave that patrol vessel a little bit i think oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap that's a minigun air drone that's coming this way okay i think that's that spotted me oh god where did that come from this is not good it's really not good. Come on, come on, come on. It's really not good. I'm a tunnel rat. We have a drone. We have a drone. It is on me. It is on me. Okay. We can shoot it from down here. Ooh! Son of a bitch. Okay, we're stuck. <laughs> we're stuck. Okay, I just need to like come up above me. <laughs> Game on, bitch. Where you at? Where you at, huh? Where you at? You behind that tree? Yeah. Well, there goes that tree. Come on, come closer. Come on. Whoop. Oh, come on, bitch. What you got? Wait, okay, you got that. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Understood. Heard. Juice. Get down! I need to kill this thing. But it, oh crap, there's another one. Are you kidding me? Ah, are you kidding me? That's... I gotta concentrate on the minigun one. I gotta get one down before I get the other one. Right, if that thing fires a rocket, I could be in serious pain land. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, it fired a rocket. We've got the ammo for this. Not really sure. This is not good. I have got two drones on my hiney. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I saw a bug as well. I wonder if that bug is trying to get me as well now. Okay, one of them is bugging out. I think that rocket aerodrome's got bored. He's leaving. Good. Minigun drone, however. Where's my hole? <laughs> 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 oh, 
I need my hole. There's a bug guarding my hole as well. This is not good. Shit. Oh, that's really not good. Oh, that that's exceptionally bad. That's that's just bad, bad. That's really bad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um. Some might say bugger. Get another one of these. If I can hide long enough, I mean the other rocket drone is gone. Minigun drone might just bugger off. He's lost sight of me. He's lost sight of me, so he's just returning to his patrol vessel. I mean, that's how stupid these things are, I guess. I just wanted to kill him. But now I'm out of ammo. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, man. Go away, minigun aerodrone. Go away. Be gone! I think it's going. I think we're going to be fine, guys. We're going to be fine. Easy. I scared it off, see? I scared it off. Uh, right. We can see um, the server is now starting to fill up with some people. Some people have arrived, everybody. All right. Okay, folks. All right. No, 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 no. I am not a threat. I am just chilling. Hiding from the drones. Oh, God. There's that patrol vessel. Cannot. Oh, God. There's other raptors. The son of a bee stings. Look at them all. Look at them little bastards. Ah, uh, I really need a hover vessel. <laughs> I need to be. I need to be above the food chain, than all these bastards. And I need to be able to quickly get away from that patrol vessel. This is so tense, guys. Because if I build a, a hover vessel, um, and that thing sees it. And it's not ready yet. Oh, we could be in trouble. Okay, I need some more ammo. Let's, um... Oh my god, this thing is so not finished. Anywhere near. Give me a shotgun. And some rounds. And then I will not be afraid of... Fuck. <laughs> this thing's so coming this way. <laughs> no! I'm gonna need an underground pit to build in. I'm gonna need something... Oh, the, the rock here isn't sand, it's rock. Diggy diggy ho! Diggy diggy ho! Alright! Alright! Yep, 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 yep! Dig faster, man! Dig faster! You silly sausage! I can hide from that patrol vessel. It may leave me alone like the drones have. If, it, if I can't hide from that patrol vessel, then I need somewhere to build... A hover vessel out of its out of its firing uh, range, out of its because otherwise it's just going to get destroyed as soon as I place the core down. It will just go boom, you know. Even though I built the whole thing with my drone, it would, well, it will destroy my drone as well. You know, fairness. Right, we have a hole. Probably not big enough to build a hover vessel in. Let's dig the mud out a little bit more. Can we see that thing? Okay, the minigun area drone is sort of back, but again, I'm underground, so it's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Everything's fine. <laughs> Jeez. This planet is a savage beast. Right, we'll put you there. We'll get you started on biofuel, good sir. Because we're going to need plenty of it. Right, let's have a little peeksies. Let's have a little peeksies with the drone. Lehu. Oh yeah, look, it's turned around. It's going away now. Good! Go! <laughs> you bastard. Leave me. Leave me alone. This is what I'm reduced to <laughs> at the moment. It's just like, little drone. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Okay. It's going to come back round, but I need to get into this constructor. Because uh, I need these things. Uh, probably these things. At minimum. Because look look at how much I can, can't can carry right now. This is the problem. Oh, shotgun. Yes, please. I will take. <laughs> I will take. Thank you very much. Can you build a fridge? Thank you. I'm going to need one of those. Yeah, he's turning around already, little bastard. Right. So... Hover vessel starter block. This is not the most ideal place to, to build a hover vessel. But, uh, <laughs> I haven't really got a choice. I'm just going to kind of deal with it. I'm going to need to make the entrance slightly bigger in order to get the hell out of here. 
It's fine. Don't worry. All good. Our vessel starting block is down. Lovely. Okay, we don't have our multi tool. So, um, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be a little bit short on things like being able to remove blocks and whatnot. But it's, it's okay, though. We're gonna just going to place a um, tiny little cockpit. I don't know whether to place it along the bottom or the top or what. I'm going to place it there, I think. It's going to be a slightly chunky monkey. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. This this little hole is already proving to be far too small. What I'm trying to do here. Okay, guys. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, we're going to be fine. We are going to be fine. Okay. So, we're going to have some storage on the side of this. These things aren't very big, but, you know, they'll, they'll do the job. At least for a little while. Um... We need we need space for other things, so I'm going to put two there. I'm going to put two on the other side just to keep the the, the balance. This is early game hover vessels like this. Balance is key. It's key, I say. Uh, let's put. Jesus, did I really build eight of those things? Wow. Balance is key. Yeah, he's miles away. It's fine. Because you've only got these tiny little hover engines, you know. Did you not build the constructor? Did you run out of materials? Oh, he's so run out of copper look, already. Wow. I need to go get some more copper and silicon. Iron is okay. Oh, no, copper is okay. It is silicon. He's run out of silicon. Right, okay, fine. Silicon was always going to be a thing because there isn't a deposit for it here. Um, But there we go. We are going to be okay because we've got... Can I understand how we got two fuel tanks? Still, nevertheless, we've got two fuel tanks. It's fine. And a single generator. Um, We're going to put a hover repulsor engine there, there, and... I can just about get the angle. There we go, right there. Okay, so the plan is with this thing, I need to build some carbon fiber blocks um, to build a sort of bit of a shape around it. So it's got a little bit of armor. And then I need to surround this, uh, the fuel tank generators and steel blocks. The constructor is going to go between these two hover engines. And then we should be able to get a couple of gats on the front of these boxes here. Maybe space them out with a block or something. Uh, but yeah, I need to go and get uh, a wee bit of silicon, which means running around the beach here and trying to pick up silicon rocks because there isn't a, a deposit here. Let me just quickly ping the thing. Ping the thing! There is a resource deposit there. That could be silicon, but that is also extremely close to where this patrol ship is is uh, patrolling. So I'm going to avoid. Yeah, yeah, massively avoid that. <laughs> yeah, so avoid that. Uh, there we go. All right, this thing is almost ready to go. I mean, it will work. We've got the generator fuel tanks right now. It will work. It will actually, you know, um, protect us. We won't be able to get attacked in this thing. But the other thing is, is it can't shoot back yet. So I don't want to take it out just yet um, because it will die. <laughs> it will die. I am going to place the fridge on the top here, though, and we will power it up. Ten fuel. As I know, if we power it up here, the fridge can be used to store all the food and stuff that I picked up, and then it won't go. It won't go off. And we've got some in the um, constructor above as well, actually. And these, this, this all needs to go in that constructor above. Okay, control vessel is still loitering with intent, but we have ammo for days now. This thing is in trouble. Did they put any food in here? No, it's fine. Okay. We need silicon. Let's go get some silicon. But um, before I do, <laughs> look at us. Day one. The day is almost over. The sun is about to set. The patrol vessel has given us trouble. We now have a shotgun, so we are well defended and armed. Ish. <laughs> Well, once I get out of this hole with this little hover vessel, we can freely explore and roam around relatively safely um, and hopefully find somewhere a little less hot to settle. There we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is episode one. That is going to be all for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Welcome to the series. 
Reforged Eden. We start in again, baby. Um, whole new update. Huge update to the game, uh, to the mod that Revian has done and Vermilion have done. So I'm excited to get out among the stars and explore all the new missions and stuff like that. Our first mission is to find that antenna. I don't think that's on this planet. I think we will need to go to... Um, let's see what we've got here. Uh, we might even need to go to a whole new um, system because we've got Masper on Oscatoon here and Pandora. And I don't think any of those have the antenna on. I think we will need to go to Alpha over here and go down to either Haven or Akur or one of those and uh, find the antenna there in order to progress the mission. That's no problem. That's just an extra la uh, layer of difficulty we have by starting on such a hard planet as Oscatoon. My plan is to completely avoid that patrol vessel until we can destroy it with a nice SV or something. It is also to annihilate these guys systematically with my brand new swanky pants shotgun. Oh yeah! <laughs> But our first priority is to get silicon, but we're going to do that in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thanks very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.